a passivity-based control of a UAV is presented. The controller does not rely upon exact cancellation of non-linearities, conferring in this way some robust properties to the attitude tracking part. An estimator of external forces and moments acting on the aerial platform and based on the momentum of the system is employed to compensate the effects of external disturbances and unmodeled aerodynamics effects. This arrangement allows the UAVs to perform hovering, tracking and aerial manipulation tasks in unstructured environments. Experiments have been performed by using an Asktec Pelican quad rotor. An OptiTrack motion capture system has been employed to track the linear position and velocity of the quad rotor. The tracking performance of the passivity-based control with and without the compensation of the estimated external forces will be shown. The sole passivity-based control is able to perform all of the tasks with a good accuracy, but that the compensation is crucial when unmodeled dynamics terms and unexpected situations become relevant. In this case study, the quad rotor is subject to an external disturbance caused by a fan. The quad rotor passes twice in front of the fan before staying persistently in the wind flow. In the plots, it is possible to notice that the sole passivity-based control is stable even in the presence of both time-varying and constant disturbances. Performance can be recovered by compensating the external generalized forces estimator. In the external forces and moments plots, it is possible to notice the passages in front of the fan. In this case study, the quad rotor tracks a given circular trajectory three times with a constant speed of 0.5 meters per second. The circle is planned in the X and Y plane at a constant altitude of 1 meter from the ground. An external load has been physically added and not considered in the controller. A pendulum has been thus attached through a hook to the bottom of the quad rotor and far from the vertical axis of the vehicle of about 15 centimeters. It is worth adding that the controller has been implemented on board at 100 Hz on an Atom CPU with the patched RTAI real-time kernel Ubuntu OS. The effect of the additional load is visible in the plots where now the estimated external force reflects the presence of the additional mass of the pendulum. The sole passivity-based control exhibits robust properties in presence of unmodeled and unpredicted effects. The performance is increased by exploiting the compensation provided by the estimator.